thanks so much for coming back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. So today I'm going to share with you a Walmart grocery haul. And then at the end, I will share with you our meal plan and how I am planning in the budget by paycheck or live rich planner, both of them. So let's get started. I hope you guys are doing great. Okay, guys. So I went this morning. Um, I came home. Josiah forgot his book bag and I had to go back out and go to Walmart. I wanted to do the pickup or delivery, but all the slots were full. So I was like, okay. So I had to go out and um, starting over here, I got some Sara Lee honey wheat bread. I got two of them. I didn't get the great value, which I'm fine with getting, but I just wanted some different bread, some fresh bread um, today. I'm not saying great value isn't fresh, but just when I picked it up, you know, it wasn't super squishy. Even the Nature's Own, was it Nature's Own? Wasn't as well, and I ended up getting a Sara Lee. Because I like to look at the dates on the bread and try to get the one um, further south. Okay, I got some ground ground beef chuck, 80-20. And this may be for taco night or taco uh, lasagna. So I'll talk about that. I got some 18 count of eggs and I probably should have got the double pack because I'm starting to use my I may upload that video or not you guys let me know where I did some prep for the charcuterie board for Christmas and I just haven't edited that and if you want to see that video let me know but I shared my little egg it always does that you have to wipe it out clean it out but this is a egg cooker and so I shared that in those clips of the video and it has like a top and all this other stuff over here um these other pieces and i love it so um jason and i like boiled eggs i put them in our tuna fish i put them in our salad um, we like to have them for breakfast it seems like it's something else that we use boiled eggs for but anyway i didn't have the room in the fridge to get a double pack so i probably should have got a double pack Okay, I got some onions, y'all, and some milk. Jason wanted some milk and some crescent rolls. We had some pizza bites the other day, and it calls for crescent rolls, and I have two already, but I just got that. They were really slim on that. Um, some green chiles. If I decide to do the Mexican lasagna, I think it calls for this. Um, I kind of went blind, but I knew what I needed from the store. I got some caramel dip, the light classic on our charcuterie board. Um... I picked this up or grocery shopping haul. I picked this up and they liked it with the vanilla ice cream. They didn't have any cookies and cream, but I really got this for JJ likes to eat it with his apples, but Walmart didn't have any apples and they didn't have any pineapple either, which I was really disappointed. That has really helped me with snacking. I don't do a lot of snacking. My trouble issues or my, my issues, let's see is at night is at night because sometimes i can stay up late but i try to go to bed early because i know i have to get up and get my day going the next day so is always dinner time and beyond that is my issue i can go all day without eating so anyway y'all when i had the fruit and stuff already prepped for the charcuterie board for the brunch and stuff for christmas we had leftovers, so I put them in Ziploc baggies. They were already clean, cut up, and everything, and that really helped. And I was like, you know what? This is one of my goals for the new year, to just eat a whole lot better. And um, when I had the snacks in the house, we're still going to have snacks in the house. But when I had the snacks in the house, like sometimes I know even I noticed everybody else's pattern, they would just go get the chips just because they were there. They necessarily wanted them. And then when you get those large quantities, I'm going to wrap this up, y'all. Those large quantities from Sam, sometimes you get tired of that. You get tired of it. Like, Josiah's tired of the Cheez-Its. He's almost tired of the Pop-Tarts now, the brown sugar. You just get tired of it. <laughs> um, I think it was the Cheez-Its. The wavy ones, I got tired of those. We still have those, and I think they are not. I have to check the expiration date. That's my sale date. Anyway, I got some mozzarella just in case we needed more, but we have cheese for the pizza bites. I did record that, so I will sh share that. I got some sour cream. 
I see some raspberries. They did some of them fall out in the bag. So I have to clean these off anyway, but clean them off real good. Some strawberries. And I want to clean it off and prep it and put it in, oh, I'll put them up, my glass containers or the Rubbermaid containers. Like, if you guys, I don't have the bottom part, but I have the lid. So these Rubbermaid containers here, and I bought two sets of them. So I had to figure out where is the other set? Okay, I have some pepperoni for the pizza bites if we have them on Friday. Again, the flour tortillas. I got the low carb ones some Capri Sun, the fruit punch for their lunches, some taco blend for also the lasagna or tacos. I picked this up and I know this is a lot more than it used to be. You can get, used to get them for like two, around two or $3. Um, this is the oven smoke turkey. But they have in the deli section up there in the front, the pre-cut and then the honey ham. And then also the provolone. Provolone cheese. I got some bananas. All of them were green, but it's fine. And then the baked potatoes. So right here in the middle of my um, grocery haul is the crock pot. I'm making spare ribs today in the crock pot. And I had to prep them before. When Josiah for, remembered he left his book bag, I was going, we always go early before the carpool line even before they even let the kids in. So I had to, I could say, you know what? I'll come back, I'll prep the ribs, clean them. It took me longer than I thought it would. And the carpool line will be gone. And I'll just, you know, bring the doorbell and they'll let, you know, take his book bag and stuff. Okay, y'all, I got some Rotel, some hot and mild diced chilies and tomatoes. And then I have been watching um this guy on TikTok and I know there's a lot of other people that cook on TikTok, but he's the only one I found so far. And the Frank's Red Hot Original, he cooks with this sometimes, and I never used it. This was the only one on the shelf. I did look at the sodium, which is not that great, 80 grams per one-fourth teaspoon. But I use it real sparingly because it's hot anyway, I believe. If you guys used it, let me know. Um, I did want some salmon, and we have chicken, but... I do want some chicken breast, so I know I want some salmon. So I probably end up going to Aldi, yeah. Okay, so I got some floral foam. Um, I needed this for Boxes Full of Hope for something. Boxes Full of Hope creates custom play settings right to your door, and Boxes Full of Hope print sends edible prints straight to your inbox for your next celebration. Have you purchased items that you didn't need or you simply felt overwhelmed? Stepping into a home decor or craft store? Do you want to start running all over the place, wasting time, gas, and shipping fees with returns? We have done the work for you. No stressing about the details, nor more questioning, does this flow go together, or is this too much? No need to worry if your table is missing something or simply looks flat. Our play settings and prints take out the guesswork, giving you more time to enjoy your guests, family, and friends giving you more time of getting your outfit of the day together, giving you the confidence to impress your neighbors and work team. Your celebration deserves that Instagram and Pinterest photo finish that is truly unique. Your guests will be ready to celebrate, eager to come back to your next celebration and leaving them with memorable moments. Boxes Full of Hope and Print both can be found on Etsy. All links can be found in the description box below. See you soon. And then I got, and I need to like go on the Dollar Tree, some of the Checkers Famous Seasoned Fries. If you watched the other video, these are awesome in the air fryer. Both of my air fryers cook differently. This one cooks the best, I think, far as fries. The other one does okay, too. But anyway, the other that I did the review on, I have to do this video on the review on this one and the unboxing. But I had this one for a long time. So if you put this on 360 for about, um, ooh, I don't even remember y'all, was it about 16 minutes or 12 minutes? But 360, this is really good, really good. Okay, I got some sweet and salty cashew granola bars. These are only 134, so I thought that was still good. Some celery, I have been making like a veggie tray. Yeah, I did an Instacart order the other day. I think I did haul it. I don't know. I got some veggie dip. It's not the light, but it's the regular. 
and some carrots, some baby carrots. So maybe a fruit and a veggie tray when I want a snack at night or either a smoothie. So I got Jason's cookies. That was one of the reasons why I went to the store. Um, some Pringles, the cheddar cheese. They didn't have the variety pack of like the chips and the pizza Pringles. And then lastly, is this lastly? I didn't get any water today, I forgot. Um, the flavor mix, I got the 42 bags of the flavor mix. And that's it. So let me share with you the um, meal plan. Okay, it's right beside me, y'all. So this is the Live Rich Planner here by the Budget Mom as well, the Live Rich Planner. And this is the Budget by Paycheck Planner. So I love that they're big and huge and give me space to write. So crock pot. So at the top of the Live Rich Planner, I have up here um, crock pot tacos or lasagna, Spanish rice, corn on the cob, and chicken spaghetti on Wednesday. Um, and then here, I still don't have anything here, but I may take a break because I have been cooking every single day, even on tuna, even though this was just tuna fish, I still had to prep it. I still had to boil the potatoes. It was no stress or anything like that, but I mean, boil the eggs and chop up the onions and all that and season the pinto beans. So anyway, on Friday, I put leftovers, but I may move leftovers over here and then put the pizza bites again, which we had the set the Friday before and they like that it's super easy it's just um you know how when you have to make extra glazes or extra stuff on the side for some reason I always dread that <laughs> if you have to make your own drizzle or your own glaze or um I don't know what's it called y'all your own marmal marinade or something it's just tedious to me we are already having to do everything else so that's what I've been doing. So today I will put down that I spent one eighteen at Walmart. And what I'm trying to do is not to spend um, no more than $200 the next two weeks um, here in here far as the grocery store or anything that I spend, I should say. And so this was like, I hope you can you do that. And I was like, yeah, we can do that. So what we have like some goals that we want to do and um if i go back to the grocery store i'm trying not to other than to get maybe some salmon pineapple um really we could have went without the grocery store because of all that we have um just maybe just a few things we just would have had to do without to be honest so if i go back to the grocery store it would be um it would be because if if I go over 200, no, if it may seem like I go over 200, I should say, it'll probably be because I will go specifically with the income that I earn. Um, if you watch the channel all the time, you heard me say, like Jason and I do our finances differently. I know every couple does, but we don't really do 50-50 like some people may do because I'm an entrepreneur um, my income varies. It goes up and down. And so sometimes I need some help to get certain things because my income doesn't, um, it could be, it could be a lot and it could be a little, very little. So anyway, that's just how we're doing it. Just so I can see what I'm doing and just not going to the grocery store blind. Plus all of those, um, our prepper pantry and stuff, we need to like be, build that down, build that down. And then when I'm busy, like working on my Etsy shop or what else y'all, my blog or trying to learn something new or cleaning, uh, video editing, probably something else I'm leaving out. I don't necessarily feel like um cooking so i've been trying to do instapot and crock pot meals which i'm not a fan of all crock pot meals trying to do easier meals so that um it won't be so much on me and then also so we can save money save money okay so anyway if you just wanted to see this planner i like this planner this is my second week planning in it and I just have like some things here, my workout. I'm going to do my workout later. I still haven't decided if I want to do my workout in the morning 
or in the afternoon. It's best to do it in the morning, but then I have to take the time out to shower and all that. And that takes me longer to get to my work and, um, and I have even tried y'all like, you don't want to be sitting in damp clothes either. <laughs> That's so irritating. Oh gosh, it's so irritating. So JJ starts exams today. And then um, I'm doing a laundry and savings challenge and sock challenge with the budget mom. I need to wash and condition my hair. And then I have been making sure that I have been intentional also with using my using my stuff, using my planner supplies. I, I'll tell myself I don't have time to do this or to do that, but I need to make the time. So I made the time to use my stickers and stuff that I spent money on. And then I have work from 9.30 to 3.15. This is another thing I'm trying to be intentional with because it may not seem like that, but a lot of times I am end up working like all day long. And sometimes I'm really driven. And then there are a few times I'm tired. I'm depleted and I'm working all day long to like, I'm gonna take a break to clean or cook. And then I go back at it after that. And it could be late, 10 o'clock or whatever. And so I'm just trying to be intentional with my time. And so even though I'm over, way over today, well, it's probably about 10.30 now. Um, that's why a lot of times I don't start right as soon as I drop Josiah off. Because I may have to do something or I may have to go into the store. So I don't have exactly what I'm doing each day. Um, only because, well, I do in my, um, what's it called, y'all? My daily planner with Gold Mine and Coco, I write exactly what I'm doing, but I don't, I haven't time blocked it yet. I haven't gotten to that point to, I know, or pinpoint a certain allotted time for each task. That's what I want to say. And that is because I think because I'm so creative, I don't like to be stuck in a box. But anyway, y'all, I know y'all like, how is this talking? This will be a grocery haul, and this is what the other side looks like. Oh, Thursday, I was thinking about breakfast for dinner. I forgot about that, so I need to transfer that over. So that's it. I like this um, planner. Um, she does have another little section um, over here. Did I get everything? Yeah, everything but bottled water. They didn't have any pineapple and salmon. So this other little section here, I have been writing down like what I have actually, what I have been eating. That's what I've been putting in that section. So um, this is what I, if you can read my handwriting last week. So like a salad, I kind of forgot what I ate these days. I had to go back in and fill it in. Tuna fish with pinto beans. I had two sandwiches, I only needed one because I was so full. I was like miserable the rest of the day but I was like starving. So this is just usually what I had, just so I can track and see my habits. But anyway, y'all, I'll let you go. Um, I forgot to fill this in, but I'm gonna do better this week with this. Okay, y'all, all right, bye.